Last up, and l certainly not least, G.I. Joe. One of my favorite things ever. First up, issue number two in the new uh, Saturday Morning uh, Adventures uh, line. And if you remember where they left off, uh, Cobra Commander had found the genie and made his bats, or one of his bats, extra size, but the Joes defeated him. So he's back at it. He's got three mega bats spread across the world in Washington, Tokyo, and uh, Paris, France. And they're all unleashing havoc in those three vicinities. So the Joes dispatch to defeat them, figure a way around the force fields that are being used, and eventually lay the bats low. Um, and uh, the genie, uh, Cobra Commander, w wishes another wish where uh, the Megabats are even more upgraded and uh, they can't harm me. Uh, but there's a loophole the genie builds into that where if any G.I. Joe or opponent fighting these bats refer to themselves as me they can't be hurt by the bats even if they take a full salvo in the face right so it actually he's working against cobra commander at the same time while he's granting him these wishes so cobra commander's all frustrated again and in the end he calls a strategic withdrawal from these three megabat uh, locations and destro and baroness are like oh another failure this damn genie whatever and cobra commander's like ah, not really that was all a ruse that was all a misdirection while all this was going on, we raided Fort Knox or whatever it is and stole a King's Ransom in gold. So Cobra Commander actually proved somewhat competent through these uh, losses or whatever you want to call them. Next up, issue 290 of the regular ongoing G.I. Joe series, which takes place not long after uh, that kind of subplot, the Snake Eyes uh, subseries, where they had to rescue him from... Um, from Cobra possession in Springfield and uh, ever all the different forces came together and whatever so in this one the October Guard is escaping the scene after the the thing and Dana's really hurt so it's kind of a a look back episode where the October Guard looks back on their past and how they escaped so many dangerous situations and how actually quite a few of them have uh, various amounts of cybernetic implants that were actually provided by the Revanche Corporation, who we now know is actually an enemy of both G.I. Joe and Cobra. Uh, and it looks like Dana is going to have to get some of that kind of help as well. So they actually plan a mission to raid Revanche. And although the guy that, that Android or whatever that leads the company thinks he has it all in hand, the humans managed to outsmart uh, him and get the drop on him. Um, and save Dana and, and, and get out of there. So it's kind of a, an October Guard themed mission that uh, delves into some of their past, but also lives more in the present with uh, the action that unfolds. So last up, I went to Heroes to get all that stuff and looked for some back issues. My mom, went, before she passed, said, I'm going to send you some signs, and we've already seen a few. This is one of them I found because I've, I've mined the store for all the old G.I. Joe issues from when I was a kid. And they have nothing left. I've totally mined them out. And when I went there, they had a sub-series from the 80s, from the line that I used to collect that I didn't even know existed. And they had all four issues of it available. So that was my first sign from my mom that uh, that 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 I think it, it was an actual sign. So um, she knows where to hit me where it counts, right? In the comics department, right? So issue number one of four. Issue number two of four. Issue number three of four. Issue number four of four. So this is called G.I. Joe Order of Battle. So it's just, if you've ever read like the old Transformers character profiles and stuff like that, it's this is basically what basically what these issues are in G.I. Joe format. It just, it goes through alphabetically all the different Joe characters uh, in the first two issues, all the Cobra characters in the third issue, and then both Joe and Cobra vehicles in the fourth issue. So it's just page by page. It's a file on a certain character alphabetically, uh, character after character. So it gives their strengths, their weaknesses, their training, their uh, file name, their specialties, that sort of thing. So all the information you want on the Joes, Cobras, and their vehicles in these four issues. So um, thank you, Mom, <laughs> for these. And uh, yeah, that's all I had for this time. But uh, you know in a month from now, I'll be back with uh, whatever's in store for me uh, from Heroes next time around. And until then, uh, again, you're just going to have to wait patiently. See you later.